Hello Baller Bears, Mr. Wright's here to talk to you guys about our fidget kits that are going to be in every classroom. We're not sure what every classroom is going to call them. Some classrooms call them calm corners, um, some are peace corners, there's regulation stations. Whatever it's called, it's going to have the same tools in each classroom and we are here to teach you explicitly what these tools are for. And remember, I'm using the word tools, not toys. When a tool becomes a toy, it goes away. That is going to be one of the main rules with taking care of these fidget stations is that these are all tools for helping you calm down. Students are going to be able to access this in any space in the school. There's going to be a calm corner in the library. There's going to be a calm corner in the music room, in your classroom, in the resource room, in the reading room. They're everywhere, and the idea is that you know what tools are in there and how to use them. So I'm here to teach you how to use them. So there are, there's going to be some way to measure time. So in the kits, there's going to be different sand timers. Your class or your teacher is going to come up with what is the appropriate sand timer for our class. In the reading room, 30 seconds might be all you get because you're not in there for very long. You're in the reading room for like 15 to 30 minutes at a time. In the classroom, you might get closer to five minutes because you're in your classroom for a lot longer than 15 to 30 minutes. This is up to the teacher. There's also this timer here that's going to be going out as well so that that's something that you might use in your classroom. Whatever it is, you are allowed to access the fidget corner, the fidget tools, the calm corner, whatever you call it, for that amount of time. Your job is to use a signal to your teacher, whatever that is. I know that in some classrooms, it's just saying C for the calm corner, and the teacher can give you the, uh, the excuse, you know, go ahead. And then you go to the calm corner. You take the timer, and you start it. Now you get to access these tools. These tools are to help you exit the red zone and get back into the green zone so you can be a student. There are many different tools in here and we're not going to look over all of them, but if you look here on the table, there's a bunch of different ones and some of them are good for calming down. You can flip this over and just watch it and it's going to calm you down as you're watching that. It doesn't require you to do anything. This is a really good tool if you need to think about your problems. Sometimes you just need to get out some energy. So taking a tool like this and just squeezing it really hard is a great way to get out some of that frustration that you might be feeling. Monkey noodle, I think. Is this what the monkey? Yeah, okay. I think this is a monkey noodle, whatever it is. This is another really good tool for getting out frustration. Theraputty is the same thing. There's going to be a Theraputty in every one. Again, this needs to stay clean, so we're not going to put it on the carpet. We're not going to drag it on anything. We're going to pull it out. Then we're just going to use it in the way that it was intended. We're supposed to play with this as a tool to kind of get out some frustration. You can pull on it. It has different resistances. You guys will find that out. Okay. Then there are some other tools here that are good for containment. So this one is a very soft marble maze. If you can look here, there's a marble in here. And as you're going through it, you push the marble through the maze. Try to get it all the way to the other end of the cloth. But doing this is a really good way to distract yourself if you're feeling frustrated. And it's really soft and it feels really nice. This is a weighted blanket, so you can put this on your lap to calm yourself down. There's all sorts of tools in here. We have headphones for if you need to ignore what other people are doing. Um, main thing is, is that these are tools, not toys. The goal is not to get out of work doing this. The goal is to be able to focus yourself and return to the classroom setting. Most students will not need to use the calm station each day. but there are going to be days when you need one, and it's good to know how to use it and what you can do with it. Thanks.